Hey guys, DSKX Monkey here, back again with another Pokemon Showdown Live, and we're gonna go back to the OU tier. The ladders did reset a while ago, like maybe four days, a week ago. So, let's just begin. The only downfall I feel that I have in Pokemon is that it's super luck based, and I'm not that good at building teams. So, I only agree with like probably two or three of the Pokemon I have here. So, I'm gonna be using Mega Deonsi. Let's see, ooh, Smeargo, I hate Smeargo. So, will he actually lead expecting my Deancey? Because I know lots of people tend to start off Deancey from the start just to go for Protect. So I'm not sure if I should, but let's do it because I'm sure. Okay, he goes Thunderous, I don't mind. Actually, I'm just gonna Protect first. Because I don't think it could do anything. Probably has Focus Blast though. Thunderbolt? I'm not sure if it one hit KOs the NC, so we'll see. He has HP fire. No, HP ice. Let's see. Sorry if I'm gonna do a lots of calcs. I just wanna make sure I don't really get one shot in. Let's see with HP. Hidden power. I mean I doubt it. Yeah, okay. Wrong move. Wrong nice. Oh, what? I don't know what he's saying. Let's not get distracted. Okay, he's on a balloon. We destroy that. That's enough damage. And then we get the defense drop. I mean, defense up. And we earth power and KO Heatran unless he switches on to Thunderous or Dragonite, which I do not mind. Okay, we take out Heatran, which is good. Heatran's always a threat, although I have lots of checks towards it. So let's see what he's going to plan on doing. We are plus like one plus two defense I'm not entirely sure like I said in my last Pokemon showdown live I am not that great of a player so I may not know everything and we get a forfeit right off the bat it did seem like he had nothing to do against me so good game we're climbing up the ladder let's look for the second battle right here let's see if we get a fast one alright we do so okay so the reason why I picked the Ansi this time is because of Sableye and I had nothing for Sableye in my last teams that I was testing out so this is good this is good but I don't feel like going with the Ansi first of all let's go with Lander no no because if he does lead up with Sableye it's gonna be a problem now I'm gonna go the Ansi just for safe Okay, good, good. Mega Evolve. So, I have a free Moonblast. Like, why the heck not? He, he's probably gonna go into Scizor or Lantern here. So, should I predict that? Hmm. Like, the only thing I have for Scizor, to be honest, is Tornadus T and Jirachi. And then Lantern is gonna be a huge problem. So, that's unfortunate. But... And, I mean, he doesn't have air balloons, so I should be able to take it down. I'm just gonna go for Moonblast and then I'm gonna switch into Landorus to drop the defenses, but do I really wanna do that? No, not really. Let's just switch out predicting Scizor. Yeah, okay, he switches into Scizor, and now he should switch back out fearing the heat wave, unless he's like completely ballsy. But he should switch out, so I'm gonna go for the U-turn here. That was a decent prediction, because I don't want it to set up. Like, in my opinion, I really do hate setup moves. I like using the sheer power of the Pokemon themselves. So he does switch out into... <laughs> okay, Lantern. So, does Mega Deancey defeat Lantern with the Earth power? It's 50 to 60. If that's... Okay, if that's specially defensive. Alright, that's gonna be an issue... But what type of lantern is he? I guess water absorb maybe? I'm not entirely sure what this could be. That's the only problem. But I'm gonna go into extra drill here. No issues. And he's probably gonna go into Latios, but do I care? He obviously is gonna switch out. I mean he could switch back out into Shatter. So I will switch back on to Tornadus, and he actually forfeits, so that's a a weird win there. I, I'm, 
I had a feeling he could have won that one, so let's just go for another one. Third batch, he has a Mega DNC as well. Manaphy, oh, I forgot his name. It's just slipped my mind, but Reuniclus, there we go. It's gonna be annoying to for sure. So, I mean, the anti lead's pretty obvious. It, I could lead off with it, there's no problem with that. But. I mean, the only thing he could do is go to Heatran, and then he can't even set up a rock. So, Manaphy does appear. So, he's probably going to set up, which I hate because, like I said, I find it really cheap for these things just to have a Pokemon to set up and just sweep your team. I feel like it doesn't really have that much skill towards it. I know there's some skill in, like, predictions, but predictions all about luck as well so you can't really always say it's skill you know like there's always a lot of luck factors in anything you do actually even but especially on Pokemon so let's see oops didn't start the timer there okay there we go starting the timer just so he could do something faster so he's gonna tail grow of course and if he has uh, this is gonna be unfortunate Let's just calc here. I know I could probably live it, but. And if he tail glow to do, do, do hurricane. Energy ball is definitely not gonna do anything. It goes to plus three, I believe. Ooh, it's gonna do a lot, though. So it's unfortunate. I'm pretty sure he has energy ball. I'm just gonna switch into Jirachi here. I'm just gonna set up my rocks because Mega DNC is not there. Goes for Scott. Uh, of course, he gets a burn. It's nothing, you know, nothing out of the ordinary here. So I'm gonna just fish for a burn here just to do some damage. But of course, he sets up and that's game pretty much. But I do have Landers. So. Landers team. Ooh, I hate this type of plane. Although I am playing pretty poorly. I just don't find it has a lot of skill to do what he's doing, definitely. So, what should I do? What should I do? I don't need extra drill. And I'm gonna go for EQ, do as much damage as I can. Maybe if I was life for it would have been better. So he takes us out, no big. And... Now the real problem is that I I don't think Lander is KO's. So it's not even a row anymore, okay. Hmm. This is unfortunate. I don't think I could win this. I'm gonna go for the protect, although it's pretty obvious and he could set up another tail glow just to assert dominance. Okay, he goes for Scott, now I outspeed and I just need this damage, so. Uh, unfortunate, unfortunate. Okay, 40, 50. Okay, Moonblast does the most, definitely. So I'm just gonna go for it. Just do as much damage as I can because I, I still, I'm, I believe I still have a chance of winning. So it's not necessarily all lost here. So I'm gonna go for EQ here and finish off the Manaphy, although I did have to sack probably the three most, like, one of the most important Pokemon, which would have been Jirachi here. So, is he in Balloon? Of course. Okay. Let's just go into this guy here. And I don't have Hazard Control now since Extra Drill's gone, but I'm going to go for Hydro Pump. I don't think he should have let this get weakened, but I mean, I need Rotom kind of healthy as well. So, what is he going to do? Is he just going to sack it? I mean, there's no point to keeping it. And of course, I miss. <laughs> and he's going to get the burn here. Yep, yep. But that's Pokemon. There is no luck involved, to be honest. I mean, <laughs> I mean, there's no skill involved because of you know luck, hacks, everything of that sort. So you could either set up with a substitute of Gengar or Calm Minds Raikou, whatever you know. Uh, he's gonna protect here. Gotta make some sort of plays here. 
Now, Reuniclus is gonna be a problem because I don't have any ghost type moves other than knock off on both Tornadus T and Landorus T. But I feel Earthquakes should defeat it in the end, maybe. I, I don't know. I think we could pull off a win, but that unfortunate start has us way back in this match here. So he's deciding what to do. He's probably just gonna protect. I mean, why not? You you burn my little bit more. Yeah, burn my Rotom Wash a little bit more. So right here, he's at this point he has to know I'm scarfed because why would I send it in just to take damage? So I'm gonna U-turn here. Okay. How much does Tornadus do? Tornadus, Assault Vest, and then it's Mega Yancy. Okay. I don't need Rotom, so if he wants to stay in with for the U-turn, it's fine with me. I mean, even going for the EQ there would have been nice as well, but then he could see about, and then he would protect afterwards. So I'm gonna sack Rotom here and then send back my Landers T and go for EQ even though he has Gengar and that's gonna be an issue. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Probably, probably minus two, but it's all good. I mean, I could go for. Let's see. Sorry for all these calcs. I just wanna make sure I do the most damage. If he switches, he's a god, but I'm pretty sure he knows it's scarfed. Yeah, okay. I didn't want to do the switch because I, he, he's not, I don't want to, never mind. I, I won't even say my thought process there. This is pretty much good game unless he chokes through. I don't think he can though, but let's see. It's unfortunate because if it wasn't for that, Manaphy, I could have easily won this game because of team matchup to be honest then. But you know, that's what happens when you have set up mons. They kind of turn the tides on your favor. I wanted to double. I should have just doubled because I had to make some plays in order to come back in this game. Why don't I just knock off? Okay, he lives in. Focus Sash. Sludge Bomb live. Don't poison. Thank you. And I could U turn here. Get some HP back. I could live another stealth rock. Now, I could just spam Earthquake and potentially win here. Reuniclus, Reuniclus. Let's just say he's calm mind. Earthquake 42. Oh, unfortunate. Alright, this is gonna be a problem. I should. Damn it, this is gonna be a problem. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna U-turn. Then I'm gonna try to do as much damage as I can with the U-turn here if he goes into Reuniclus. Uh, as long as Raikou isn't Scarf, could be a Salt Vest variant, but he does look to be Scarfed or maybe Choice Specs. So right here, it all depends how it goes, because if I U-turn on Reuniclus, I'll get hopefully enough damage. Body and then... Actually, I don't think I can win this. Yeah, Reuniclus is gonna come in. I have to go for U-turn because I don't want to sack Landers T. Okay, he does actually go for that. Okay, that's actually better for me in a way because I get more get more recovery on Tornadus, which I needed for to combat Reuniclus. And I don't know why he even switched out there, to be honest. Okay, for two. Do, do I die though? Let's see. No, I don't. Oh, he has a chance. Okay. I'm just gonna go. Wait, it's cause the cow doesn't really have. Um, doesn't have heat wave. 
wave on it. I like to run heat wave. Heat waves. Okay. So I'm just gonna go for hurricane. To get a confusion hacks here. Okay, I don't. Which is okay. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I don't have a chance here. But the Moonblast had a lot of chances to actually KO Landris after I, if I double switched into this. So he goes for another Protect for whatever reason. So I'm pretty sure he has it one in the bag. But we kind of almost made a comeback here. So all he has to do is go into Reuniclus and hope. He lives, you know. Which I'm pretty sure he will, unless he's like, yeah, he. Oh, Raikou. Okay, are you scarf? No, you're n not. So we take it out. So it's gonna be one v one. Not like it matters because I'm pretty sure. As long if he doesn't KO me, and I get a high roll twice, I could win. Okay, no, I can't. All right, so he goes to recover, gauges out the damage, and he pretty much has this game. I don't know why he recovered. He could have just gone for the double kill here. So I guess he's trying to make me rage quit, but I honestly do not care. Just end it, man. I could get double crits for all I care. So let's just keep going. He has 12. So I don't know. This guy, I guess he thinks he's good. But let's just keep going. How many earthquakes do we have? Three. Do, do, do. He honestly thinks I care. Once I go into struggle range, I'm just gonna leave because I'm just I'm not gonna kill myself. Okay, we get the crit there, but he's gonna recover, of course. Last last earthquake. Good game. Mana fee. On it for you. Other than that, this was an easy game. Alright, there we go. Not trying to taunt him, just say my opinion. And let's go for another match here. So, ooh, okay. So he has a way to trap the NC. Flash cannon scarf. Mm, stealth rocker. I'm just gonna go into Landers. Okay, he goes into Sylveon. I do not care, I'll just U turn, go into Jirachi. And from there, I might double predicting Lopanir Landers. Ooh, he gets a crit. Or actually, he could go Magnezone if he really wants to. <laughs> I lost because you killed half my team with me. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he gets salty, but it's okay. He doesn't understand why I do not, you know, appreciate that. So I'm gonna go for the burn here. I don't like, just for the lows. Let's go for hacks. Okay, I do get the burn. <laughs> That's pretty funny. So let's go into road time here. He's just gonna go rocks. Usually they're all rockers and they're not really any else so I'm gonna boat switch here because I doubt he's I mean he could go for knockoff but I doubt it so we got the boat switch here into Sylveon no problem go back into Jirachi and now since he didn't see my double since I didn't double back he's probably actually is gonna go into Magnezone because why why not I mean it's pretty safe let's see does he switch out? Yeah, he does switch out into Magnezone. So, he's definitely gonna U turn. I mean, does Flash Cannon actually KO me? But I'm Scarf, so. I'm gonna U turn here. Yeah. Into his Landris, no problem. And. At that amount of HP. Can't really do much. I mean, I could go into Extra Drill. Victini is definitely the choice scarf for here. But I could just switch into land. Oh, I don't want to sack Landers though. And Road Tom, I need him for low bunny. Hmm. Interesting. I'm just gonna go for Iron Head. I don't think he's gonna. Yeah, okay. Good. I am max speed on Exodrew and max attack, so here comes Victini, like I 
predicted to be honest but I do not need the anti here so I'm gonna sack it for the V create if he goes for it yeah he does so I actually live it which is nice so nothing really wants to take uh, earth power so why not go for it I'm not gonna go for the protect Magnazone, yep, Earth Power, one shot. Boom, okay, Magnazone can trap anything, that's good to take out. So, Lopani comes for free. He's gonna protect on the. I mean, there's no reason to. I'm just gonna go for Moon Blast, because I, I am sacking the Ancy anyways. Well, as he actually doesn't go for the fake out, predicting the protect, which was good, and good game, man, good game. I'm just gonna type in good game, let's see how much time we have. We're at 20 minutes, let's just go for one more match. Don't worry, I am waifu, I am not salty, unlike you. So, Scalipede, ah, oh, another, another setup, a Tom Pass type of thing. Unfortunate. So, I'm gonna go and, I'm gonna start with, okay, good, good start off. I'm gonna go in for U turn, because I mean, why would you stay in, right? Yep. So, Thunderous comes in, and. Deancey is free here and I could just go for a diamond storm why not I know scissor could come in but I just switch back into tornadoes and do some switches so he has grass now but it does not one hit KO we hit the diamond oh of course of course so since that happened I'm gonna go in Jirachi predicting scissor I know he actually goes for grass on that game okay boy I mean doesn't it doesn't bother me, I could set up Stealth Rock. So he, he has Nasty Plot, which is unfortunate. Hmm. I'm gonna Healing Wish the Ancy. And now I'm gonna go for Diamond Storm again. Hopefully I hit, and he actually KO's this time. Wow, I, I didn't think he would, but oh well, that's what happens. I'm just gonna go in for rock slide because I have to take care of this threat. Unfortunate. Okay, we do live that. We do hit finally. So we wouldn't be in this position if we actually hit. Okay, let's go. Double grass knot. We should tank that. We're we'll double into extra drill predicting the thunderbolt. I just I have to do this. So I could get enough leftovers in order to take him out. Okay, we got enough leftovers, I believe, to live a grass now. Now we go for another rock slide. Hope we connect. Oh, he gets a crit on a neutral. So I'm pretty sure that's GG, but I mean, I guess I could have switched into Landris to begin with, honestly, but oh well. Those are some misplays I did too, but it was unfortunate that Diamond Storm missed Thunderous because that was a one hit KO, easy peasy. So, this is obviously gonna set up like they always do, and just gonna go for the Will O Wisp. It's unfortunate. It. Ooh, one hit KOs, and that's pretty much GG, I would say. But let's see, let's see if we could make a comeback. We almost made a comeback on that Manaphy guy, so, okay. GG man, GG set up mons always win. So that didn't go our favor, but it was a good, good live I would say. I enjoyed myself. I the weaknesses I have on my team I do acknowledge them, and then of course set up Pokemon always doesn't matter if you have checks for those Pokemon, they will usually tear you apart once they set up and you got nothing in a one shot or do enough significant damage or at speed. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry if you might not approve of what I said in this video but I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later